Today I'm going to show you my Anytan agent that listens for trends. It processes three sources of data, Twitter, newsletters and websites. So every single day it will search for relevant updates on each of those sources based on your set of interests and save it directly to your Google Sheet database right here. So we have a short name of an update, description and a source. And with this tool, you will be able to stay on the edge of your market. Let's say you are into investing, then you can get important news relevant to your assets instantly. Or let's say you are into real estate, then you can be the first to know about new listings. I'm going to explain how it works, how you can set it up and adapt it for your own needs. And you can grab this template for free in the description down below. So let's dive in. And if you like this type of content, subscribe to my channel. And first of all, I would love to start with a quick story why I decided to build it in the first place. So I built this system for myself and I wanted to listen to the latest AI news, new AI topics, new emerging tools, etc, etc. The stuff that might be very useful for me because I'm making content on YouTube. I want to stay up to date. I want to be on the edge of my market. And it is impossible to keep up with that. Like you have updates on Twitter happening all the time. Many companies like OpenAI, first of all, they're dropping their stuff on Twitter because it is the easiest way. It's just a couple of words and then you can access their website, check out the news, etc. Or I have some newsletters like Rundown AI and they're showing some new data points every single day. This was impossible to keep, keep up with, so that's why I decided to build this workflow. And in my case, it is trying to gather all the AI data on the market. And now let's begin describing and understanding the whole workflow. It is actually pretty simple. So the first part is getting the Twitter data. It all starts with a schedule trigger. You can schedule it however you want. In my case, it is every single day at 6 a.m. because I want to read this data in the morning so I can act upon it, right? And then the second step is your instructions. This is exactly how you adapt the system for your own needs because you might want to consider different topic. You might want to adapt the system for real estate topics or for investing or whatever is, is that that you're interested in. So in this case, I have two prompts. First of all, the browser prompt. Here, as you can see, search all the latest AI news from this page and its child pages. So you will just say something like search for real estate listings on this specific website. And then the main part is the analysis prompt. It's quite huge. I'll open it up. So I used Claude to write this thing for me because it is huge. I just described via voice what is it that I'm looking for. I'm explaining that, OK, I have three sources of data, Twitter, newsletters, websites. I'm explaining what exactly I want to extract from them, then what to exclude, what I'm not interested in, and then some other instructions, for instance, to use the web search. Because if, for instance, Sam Altman is tweeting something on Twitter, usually the tweet might be very short and you might not understand fully what does this person mean if you don't have extra context. And for that reason, I'm enabling the latest AI agent where it is, here it is, with Perplexity AI so it can do the web research and actually find out the needed context to fully understand what was the idea of the tweet and then maybe use it in my data, data analysis, right? So this was the second step. So if you want to adapt it for your own needs, tweak this part. And then we're going to the third one. This is the Google Sheet. Here, I'm just taking the information about Twitter accounts that you want. I want to analyze. So let's open Twitter database. It is right here. As you can see on the bottom side, we have four different sheets. So we have data points. Here are all the results. Now we have the Twitter accounts. As you can see, in my case, it's OpenAI, Anthropic, etc. in total seven accounts. And by the way, the template for this Google Sheet database will be also in the description down below. So feel free to copy it and use it uh, to set up the system. Then the third one is the newsletters. So here, as you can see, I defined five different newsletters. Based on these emails, I will be filtering emails that are coming to my Gmail and we will understand that, OK, this is actually what we want to check out. And finally, the websites, just some of the websites from big AI companies. And another one is futuretools.io. Here are all the news about different, different tools, not specifically from the biggest labs, but also from the startups, etc. also super useful. So let's get back here. So on this note, we're simply connecting it to our Google Sheets account. So it is pretty easy to connect. If you're not connected yet, just press create new credential and you will be good to go. And uh, make sure that you've selected the right sheet. So in this case, it's Trend Listener. It's the name of this Google Sheet file and then we're selecting the right 
uh, tab inside, which is X in this case, right? So here we will get these Twitter accounts and then we are using Apify to scrape the data from every single of these Twitter accounts. We will get 20 latest tweets. This is the minimum amount that we can scrape from this specific API endpoint. And if you don't know how to set up Apify, it is pretty easy. You just go to the apify.com right in here and then you will just press go to console on the bottom on the top right and you will create your account and you will add your api key right here in this uh, credential section so once this is set up then you will be able to get the data from twitter and then here we're just selecting specific fields that we're interested in there are so many different metadata fields that are not interesting to us so i'm just selecting the username the text so the main information from this tweet when it was created and the url so we can include it in the source so as you can see in the google sheets in data points we are including all the sources so if i'm interested in this particular topic let's say chat memory auto management rolls out then i'm just clicking on this source link and bam, here is the original post. So you can get the instantly the whole context and understand the topic deeper, right? So this is a very simple step. You don't need to tweak anything in here. And then I'm just filtering the tweets that are only latest. So in this case, I'm looking for the stuff that happened 25 hours or less ago. So the most latest stuff, because this system is running every single day. So there is no need to analyze what was happening like a week ago. But if you want to get the, this like news data points collection every single week, then you can tweak this part as well. No problem with that. And I'm just aggregating all the tweets. I'm just collecting all these multiple tweets. In this case, maybe we collected like 20 tweets and then we'll just compress it to only one item. So it is easier to process in the future. And now we're transferring to the second part of the workflow, which is getting the newsletters data. Here in the same manner, we're just getting these emails that I already showed to you in the Google sheet. Then we're using a filter string. So we're just creating a string. It's basically a very technical thing that needs to, to be used in the next step to filter out emails. It's just an expression that Gmail uses to filter out emails. So in this case, in this search bar, we'll basically tell it, tell it that, hey, we are looking only for emails from these specific senders. Everything else is not interesting to us. So it will just return those emails. And then in this step, uh, we'll just extract every single email fully. So on the previous step, we are getting only the name of the sender, the subject, the ID, but we don't get the whole text inside. So we need an extra step to actually get the whole text so we can analyze it further on down the line. And here with Gmail, it is also super easy to connect these nodes. You're just pressing here, pressing plus new credential, and then you will connect it just simply logging in to your Google account, right? So make sure that this Google account that you're using is actually connected to the newsletters that you want to analyze. And here, the next step is select fields. Also, we're just cleaning up all the mess, all the garbage that we have in this metadata, in this response. As you can see on the left side, here is like the schema of the result that we will get. So it is huge, it has some headers, some HTMLs, we don't need all that stuff. We need only like what is the sender, what was the date, what is the subject and what is the text. This is enough for us to analyze and to actually extract some interesting data points. And then we're aggregating it once again. So we have it compressed into one item only. And then we're transferring to the third part, which is the most interesting. At some point, I can say that it is the hardest because it required a little bit of setup here. So here we will actually do the web scraping with the tool called Airtop. So I'm opening this up. It is an Airtop integration with NITAN. And what it does, it simply enables you to look up different web pages in the same manner as you would do manually. So let's say you want to scrape OpenAI website. Just go to OpenAI and use uh, this link. So I'm opening this link and let's say I want to read specifically the latest news. What am I doing? I'm just scrolling this page. And here, as you can see, we have the date. This is September 30. Obviously, this is too, too far away. We want something later. And then I'm scrolling and bam, here is a piece of news. Expert Council, blah, 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 October 14. This is good. I might as well click on it, 
read what is inside and then include it into my summary into my data point so airtop this specific tool enables you to do exactly that so it creates a virtual web browsing session which will be allowing this specific ai agent to click on the pages walk through them collect some data and then return it all back together to you so to create airtop account you just go to airtop.com i believe it's this one oh airtop.ai sorry so in this case i already have my account and uh, you'll just go to this website create an account and here on the left side you will go to the api keys right here just copy your api key and you will be able to go here and connect every single node just press here create new credential paste your api key and you'll be good to go and by the way uh, this airtop integration has a lot of free credits at the beginning i think 10,000 credits so you don't need to pay for anything here if you're not doing some crazy amounts of web search you are good to go with this uh, starting point it is super good the free tire will be enough so when i'm opening this particular notes here we're just creating the session we want to initialize this browsing session you don't need to change anything in here except for your credential in the next thing we're creating the window so we can just uh, start our browsing session here i'm saying that we're starting with openai.com news but it doesn't matter you can leave it like that and uh, here we're once again going to our google sheet database and just grabbing the websites that we want to analyze so here just include your web links you don't need to include only the web link to the website but you can also specify the web page that you are particularly interested in as you can see i'm not writing here openai.com i'm open it's openai.com news because i want to scrape this particular page this is important all right so once we got all these websites then we're just using this ai agent to go through every single one of them and actually analyze and also go to the child pages and analyze what is inside because as i explained with this thing with openai uh, news example here we want to open up this one we might as well open up this one so this browser agent will do exactly that it will also understand okay this is october 13 probably this is already too late for us we don't want to analyze that because today is october 16 but this we might want to analyze depending on your condition so um, here is the system prompt it's just an instruction showing that okay you have an access to the browser you can do uh, queries you can load urls nothing to tweak in here and here is the user prompt and i'm just basically saying i'm just copying the instruction that was uh, created at the beginning right here your instructions because i wanted to put all the instructions in one place so it is easier for you to use right so we can close this and then we're just uh, taking this instruction from here and i'm also saying that i'm interested only in use that came out uh, 24 hours ago or later and then i'm describing the way that i want to get the output in so so it does all these uh, steps then it uh, creates the whole data point database based on that and we're just in the same manner aggregating all this information from the websites and then we're terminating the web session so uh, the browser is fully terminated no processes are running in the background and then we can process to the next stage right and final stage is to analyze all the data that we've gathered over these three main steps and actually understand what are the relevant pieces of data some pieces of data may be duplicated maybe we have a single piece of data both in the twitter and in the newsletter obviously i don't want to get it twice in my google sheet database for that reason ai agent will analyze all that it will also do some perplexity ai web research if it cannot understand the full context about something as i explained earlier let's say you have a tweet and if it's not super self-explanatory maybe the agent needs some extra data then it will use perplexity ai to do the web research and if you have not yet connected it it is also very easy just press create new credential you will need to go to the i think api perplexity uh, perplexity ai right here just open this api platform register there create an account it is super super cheap and paste your api token right in here and you will be good to go so then here we have the prompt for the ai agent right here but as you can see i moved it 
to the beginning of the workflow so you can set up everything in one place in this node and then you will be good to go right so once this ai agent analyzed everything then it will just spit out all these different data points and save it once again to your google sheet database with the date which is today so you know exactly when this report when this data was generated so in this case we have like 17 data points specifically from today in super convenient format that was it in my opinion this tool is absolutely essential if you are doing something tech related especially if you are doing something related to ai because this field is evolving so quickly and it is crucial to stay up to date with the market and if you like this video check out another one where i built a database with 37 best marketing automations in ni10 i manually handpicked it analyzed them and then put it in the super convenient manner so you can use it instantly